As the RA approaches its 250 year anniversary, it is embarking on a project to join together Burlington House and Burlington Gardens. In this eight part series, we reveal, celebrate and explore the ideas and people behind this transformation. The project came into the office in 2008. I started on it about 18 months ago, probably. And I, was that the same time as you? I think roughly about the same time. Yeah, we both started about the same time, and then you joined. I joined the last summer, yeah. The time scale of architectural projects is such that people may well have left the office by the time it's finished. And, you know, that's, that's common. It's at the heart of the project, this issue about how you introduce new architecture into, into an old building. I mean, here we, we've got the link bridge. Where needed, we can integrate with the language of the RA internally, where we're doing more delicate touches. We have already started removing the paint and starting to see what's underneath. So we know that the infill in here is going to be the same brickwork and that's how we are going to do the infill. Where we're clearly saying, you know, we're going to add on a new addition, it has a new function and a new purpose. We, we're honest about it. There is no trying to make it look like it was there before. What I most like about my job, and it's something I found uh, in this project, is when you have a design on a scale and then you go, you are approaching and approaching to another scale and see how can you solve any detail on a scale 1 to 2 or 1 to 5. This is a working design model and this example is obviously the lecture theatre. The thing about this scale, 1 to 30, is it gets to a point where you can actually understand the space. Because it's very different in photos, you've only got a certain periphery, so it's an important tool. Lecture theatre is probably one of the emblems of the project, yeah. but I think that the actual space, when it's finished, is going to be so much more convincing than anything we can produce. You work on something for so long, and you figure that this is going to be realised one day. So when you actually start to see you know, the fruits of the labour, of what you've done come to life. Yeah, so that's like the, the real wake up moment, is that you know, what you've been drawing is actually going to be built, you know, and people are actually going to use it. So this is the mock-up of the lecture theatre. We got an interesting debate about the details of, of the auditorium, because suddenly everyone was, you know, sort of touching and saying, and, and, and everyone had an opinion, whereas I think before that, then it was very difficult to get opinions out of people about, you know, whether, you know, whether that's the right height or that, or, you know, all of those things became relevant and, you know, and But it's you not architects, they can really realise what we are talking yeah. about. This is going to be the Lecture Theatre space and what we're doing is taking away all of the temporary partitioning and revealing the windows on, on all sides. Architecture is a lot of things, not only the design, but also the construction, the management. I'd say half of architecture is understanding people, whether it be the client but also the user. You know, you can't like detach the physicality of architecture with the people that use the buildings. So it has to go hand in hand. There are many ways to approach to architecture, but one way is to try things and say, this is good, this is wrong, this is good, this is wrong, and then yeah. just eliminate the wrong things. That's a little bit what we do. Yeah. Yeah. The RA will be here in a thousand years to have the opportunity to influence the running of the building and how people use it is amazing. <laughs>